Hello and good morning. My name is Sashwin Shanbagh and I'm from Chennai basically. I heard about CMR Law School from a friend for the first time and I thought about it and I joined the law school. I was thinking that CMR Law School is not a national law school, would it be a good law school? So the experience of what I've had over the last five years is all about finding myself in this particular law school. The law school has given, CMR Law School has given me a purpose in life as to what I want to do when I was left clueless at the beginning of my law school life. So I had participated in various events and a lot of opportunities were given at CMR Law School. So the amount of opportunities that a students get, uh, that all the students get here is unparalleled as opposed to a lot of other law schools at the same level or even the national law schools for the matter. We've competed in moots, model events, debates and everything and every student is given the same opportunity. And even if a student doesn't want to try, the teachers and the entire faculty encourages them to a certain extent to participate in these things to make sure that they come up and have the same opportunities as well. So in the course of that only, like when I went to so many com competitions, my confidence level was brought up to a great extent. That's when I decided that I wanted to get into litigation as opposed to a corporate job because I really wanted to make some sort of a change by the end of the day in the society. And litigation is the best way to do so. And therefore, I believe that my life in CMR Law School for the last five years has been blissful, blissful to a great extent. Good morning, my name is Nancy Sarah and I'm basically from Bangalore. So I joined law because I wanted with a focus to be able to serve people in society and CMR Law School has definitely added to their experience to be able they uh, molded my character in a way that you know I have been fascinated by litigation in itself and uh, I'm thankful to CMR for all the experiences that it has given me because it has definitely made me a better person and uh, I will be taking up litigation as a profession uh, and I will be working with an NGO that is into anti-human trafficking and uh, I hope to serve the community and I, it's, it's really wonderful studying in CMR because it definitely molds you into what you want to do. I'm Ankita Sharma, I'm from Delhi and uh, when you graduate in your own chosen field, you feel really proud about it and for this milestone of our lives, I want to congratulate all my batchmates and I just, I'm really very thankful to CMR for grooming our character, making us learn so much, grooming us each and every day and all the experiences we have had here has finally led us to decide what we want to do. We have now just settled where we want to work, where we want to pursue our career and litigation is one of the field which really helps you to grow each and every day and just keep keep all the challenges coming and just face all the challenges and grow yourself thank you namaskara nanna is nandakumar anta nanu ee college alli 5 varshanda ootta idini ee college serbekadre namge kanunalli enenno fields ide adralli enenno concepts ide enen ide adra bagge namge eno arivu irillilla ee college serkonda admele aa kanunalli iruvanta prathi ondu on field annu namge ee college nam protsa needi ad prathi ond field na explore madakku ond avakasha madkottide ee riti adalli college namge ella prathi ond competition ku kalisidare nammalli iruvanta ond prathibe annu hora hakalu ond ond vedike annu kottidare ee riti adi college alli thumba thumbane chatuvatigalu ide bari nav kanunna kanunna iga ಮೊನ್ನೆ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಲೀಗಲ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬರೀ ಓದಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ನಾಗರಿಕನಾಗಿ ಏನು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಕಾನೂನ ಒಂದು ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ವೇದಿಕೆ ಹೊಚ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಮೊನ್ನೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಎ ಡೆಮಾಲಿಷನ್ದು ಆಗಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆನೂ ನಾವು ಹೋಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕಾನೂನ ಏನು ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಅವ್ರ ಕಾನೂನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಥರ ಕೇಸ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನೋ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಪರವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಲಾ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ರೂಪಿಸಬೇಕು ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗೂ ಬಾರೆ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲೇ ಇರೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸು ಬಾರೆ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಎಜುಕೇಷನು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸು ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಬೇಕು ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯಾದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರತಿಭೆ ಆಚೆ ಬರಬೇಕು ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ರೂಪಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಈ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಮಗೊಂದು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಒಂದು ವಿಷಯ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈ ಕ
ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಹರಿಣಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಮೂಲ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅದು ವೀಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ಝಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಟಾಪ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂತ ಎರಡು ಸತಿ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದೇ ಟೈಪ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಉಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಈ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಗಲಿ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲದಲ್ಲೇ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ Lord into their head and heart. 
is something unimaginable. I must congratulate the parents of those students who are here for having allowed their children to join. Firstly, the law course, and secondly, CMR. All the three speakers who represented the students here were not to perfect. They were very honest in their feelings as a judge had to make out. Because the work of a judge is to know the credibility of a witness. If a witness is found to be credible, then judge attaches more significance to that. The whole process of assessment of evidence in civil or criminal cases is to know the credibility of the witness and the effect thereof in a particular case. I can honestly tell you that I would have lost a great opportunity if I had denied the request of your esteemed principal. <laughs> Next, I see in you a great judge. Commitment with which you have, all of you have taken this profession, this this uh, law, is something unimaginable. Friends, I was a direct teacher for 17 and a half years, and I have been the judge for more than one and a half years in the High Court. Ultimately, the judges were is nothing but to understand the men and men. If we had applied the American and uh, the compensation would have been many times. It's a, it's a conflict of law. Which, to which law do we apply is the question. Basic structure theory of the Constitution, which has put a few provisions of the Constitution beyond the scope of amendment given by Parliament, the supreme creator of law, you know, that is Keshavananda Bhakti's case. Who was the man? who propounded the theory, late Nani Paul, argued with force and persuaded the Orange Lapex Court to take a view that it is true parliament has got the power to amend the constitution, but not the power to amend the basic structure. And over a period of time, what exactly is the basic structure has been explained in recent decisions by the Orange Lapex Court. Avoiding compensation in exercise of risk jurisdiction to the victims of violation of their fundamental rights, bidding goodbye to the principle of local standing for relief, for relief to a person, a class of persons who cannot read their own cause, letter petitions, and public interest litigations are a few examples. Look at the mind boggling exercises and lawsuits which the courts are inviting and to themselves and undertaking resolution ledger, sustainable development. Enforcement of rights of a future generation which is yet to come in existence as against the present day generation. Right of a newly born baby to mother's milk. Renting out of the womb by mother and disputes as to the paternity. That is surrogation. It's a very, very important uh, aspect of law which requires a lot of attention. Respect. Respect. And by the normal ideas. In the Constitution of India, I will delay no person for money or money and will conduct myself as a legal professional according to the best of my knowledge and discretion. I offer my service, offer my service. To, endeavor, to endeavor to live up to, live up. to the ideals of, of the profession and uphold the highest standards of advocacy and dedicate in my life and career. In my life and career. I wish all good luck and my future. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students, we have heard 
Justice Chandrasekhar, our chief guest, who has given us and all of you insight into various aspects of legal profession by citing various incidents. In his speech, he found the concern that we should have for society and he has highlighted him with the methods to dispense justice and tips to become a good and successful advocate. He has also suggested he has gone to the extent of bringing the list of great books which one should read. I am sure that you know our library has got all those books. Otherwise, please read them. He has also highlighted you as to how you could get your legal profession and knowledge to a high level. He has described the opportunities available in the future service, particularly for women, advocates, and also the role of responsibility in courts and towards our clients. Friends, the area of legal education today has undergone an apparent shift from the time that was an evening course taught weekly by part-time teachers who were mostly advocates teaching their free time. When we were students, the law colleges were functioning only in the morning, early morning, and late evening. Full time law colleges were non existent. It is necessary for modern day law students to be trained and molded into convict professionals. The institution imparting legal education has responded with varying levels of development and success. All of you being part of Sierra Law School, I would not like to mention anything about the law school as such. It is your hard work, your commitment that has brought you to this level. And I'm sure for the legal profession, professionals of today, the options available are innumerable and immense. The sheer number of choices has multiplied by several times. The corporate sector offers not just the comfort and security of a stable source of income, but also a kind of value and appeal hitherto unheard of the legal profession. However, the profession that we are practicing advocate remains as immaculate as ever.
graduation batch that is the BALLV 8th batch and the 3th LLB 3rd batch is graduating today and we are immensely happy for grooming them to the finest advocates and we are very happy for that and with this bunch of students has we have seen witnessed great mooters, great researchers, great debaters and great parliamentarians who has done a lot of model parliaments. We are happy for this batch for the reason that they brought a lot of laurels to the law college and they spread our name to all the corners of the country as well as in the world. In our same law school, we give a lot of scope for training. The training not only in academics, academics is one part where we give, we have to give importance. Apart from that, we give a lot of importance for the co-curricular and extracurricular activities where the training is given on weekly basis on debates, on model parliament or current affairs event or maybe writing skills. This type of training goes on every fortnight or sometimes it is also every week we take this training. This makes the students to groom themselves and participate without hesitation in any competition. That's the reason we, are, we have been winning a lot of competitions in this year and, and consecutive years. And our college this year, this day, more than 70 people have, 71 have graduated and they are from the different parts of the country as well as we do have international students who have come from corners of the world. These students today successfully they completed their graduation. They are very happy to be studied in our CMR Law School and they want to come again and again to India to witness what's happening there. So we, India has been known for the place for hospitality and they're very happy. They want to send more students from their country to come and study in our Bangalore as well as in India. So I'm very happy for that. And our college, we constantly have guest lectures by eminent people. For example, we had this guest, we do have the guest lectures every 15 days by uh, Justice uh, Santosh Hegade, uh, Justice Shivraj Patil, uh, uh, Justice uh, Malimath, so on. The list goes on. This makes the students to know what the practicability of the law from others. They will be knowing the information apart from the theoretical. They will have an exposure to practical things. And this is the one which is boosting up their interest in pursuing law. Thank you.